Golf, known in Japan as T&E Virtual Golf Japanese, T ba Charujorufu, Hepburn, T&E Bikaru Gorufu, is a golf video game that was released within months of the Virtual Boy console's launch. Golf was developed and published by T&E Soft in Japan and published by Nintendo in North America. It was directed by Tadashi Nakatsuji and its sound specialist was Ken Kojima. The game uses standard golf rules and is set in the fictional 18-hole Papillion Golf and Country Club. Hazards include water, sand traps, trees, and deep rough grass, and players can choose their club and various aspects of the club's swing, including speed, direction, stance, swing power, and the ball impact point. The direction the ball will go in is determined by these things as well as the speed and direction of the wind. It is displayed in the Virtual Boy's standard red and black color scheme with 3D effects by use of a 3D processor. It was met with critical praise for its controls and physics and mixed reviews for its graphics. Nintendo Power called it the third best Virtual Boy release of its year. Topic gameplay Golf follows traditional golf rules. Players must reach the hole on the green in as few strokes as possible by hitting the ball with a club, while avoiding obstacles including sand traps, water hazards, trees, and deep rough grass. In the screen's top left and right corners, players are shown the wind speed, direction and an aerial layout of the course, respectively. In advance of their turn, players choose aspects of the swing, such as speed, direction, stance, club type, swing power, and the ball impact point. Swing power requires players to stop an indicator at the right moment on a vertical arrow. The ball impact point requires players to stop a zigzagging indicator as it moves down and then up a close-up of the ball. If players allow the indicator to move all the way up the vertical arrow, they will be given another chance to time their shot. If they allow the zigzagging indicator to reach the top, the game will automatically stop it at the very top. If players hit the top of the ball, it will go further while hitting the bottom of the ball will cause the ball to go further but have a more controlled direction. Hitting the ball on the right or left sides will cause the ball to hook in either direction. The ideal spot is the center of the ball. Unlike real golf, players do not need to hit the bottom of the ball when in bunkers or deep rough. Players can also place a grid on a nearby portion of the course to aid with the aim and distance of their shots. Players can choose between five different viewing perspectives, change button configurations, and review the positives and negatives of their last shots. The game takes place in the fictional 18 hole Papillion Golf and Country Club. Players choose between two modes of play, tournament, where players compete against 47 virtual computer-controlled opponents, and stroke, where players attempt to surpass their previous high scores. Stroke mode is designed for beginners. Topic development Golf was developed and published by T&E Soft for the Virtual Boy. It was originally known as VR Golf. While T&E Soft handled the game's Japan release, Nintendo handled its North American release. Its director was Tadashi Nakatsuji and its sound specialist was Ken Kojima. Like all other Virtual Boy games, Golf uses a red and black color scheme and uses parallax, an optical trick that is used to simulate a 3D effect. The game was released within months of the Virtual Boy console. Nintendo cut Virtual Boy's price multiple times, one drop coinciding with Golf's release. Topic reception Golf had mixed to positive reception. The positive reception was due in part to the T&E Soft's experience with golf games which was noted by multiple outlets including official Nintendo Magazine, Edge, Allgame, and Nintendo Power the latter which called it the third best Virtual Boy game of the year. Nintendo Power called golf the most realistic sports game on the Virtual Boy at the time of its release. A reviewer for Next Generation said that the gameplay holds up surprisingly well to golf simulations on systems better suited to the genre. Total, magazine felt that the game was very basic and lacked in content and features. Nintendo Life's Dave Freer felt that the controls were designed well, but criticized its lack of multiplayer, internal memory of high score data between power cycles, and a second golf course. The audiovisual elements received mixed reviews. GamePro and Electronic Playground both found the game fun but were disappointed by its graphics. GamePro additionally criticized the audio quality. Total, felt that the game had some of the console's worst 3D effects. Next Generation said that the limitations of the Virtual Boy hardware, and the game's ineffective use of its 3D abilities, makes features in the distance difficult to make out. The News Tribune praised its 3D effects as well as the scene transitions and graphics. 
Allgame's Scott Allen Marriott felt that the audio and sense of depth were poor, but commended its use of shading. Nintendo Magazine positively praised golf's presentation and the perspective of the ball. Nintendo Life's Dave Freer also praised its sense of distance and course size. See also List of Virtual Boy games <laughs>